I was one of a group of 13 students that went down to Cochabamba, Bolivia, um, which is Bolivia's third largest city. It's a city that's been rapidly expanding over the past 15 to 20 years, and a lot of the population has come from the countryside, moving to a more urban environment where they've been escaping um, problems of various collapses in the Bolivian economy, whether it's um, in the mining industry or coca farmers or um, former rural peasants. And a lot of these people that are moving to the city are finding work in the informal economy, um, doing things like uh, shoe shining, selling sort of informal wares like um, band-aids, uh, like mass quantities of fruit. And a lot of this this exchange takes place in uh, Cochabamba's market, which is called La Cancha, which is an indigenous word for um, center. So La Cancha sort of spreads uh, around the southern zone of the town, and there's two types of vendors that sell within it. There's permanent vendors um, who have legal license to sell from the city. They buy a stall from the city, and with that purchase comes um, a legal license to vend in La Cancha. And... Um, the majority of vendors are ambulant vendors, ambulantes, which means wandering, and um, they don't have legal license to sell, they don't have the capital to be able to purchase a stall permanently or rent one, because, as I said, oftentimes these people are displaced populations from various other uh, regions of the country. So um, the ambulantes face a lot of discrimination in the market. Um, most of the time they're indigenous, they're poor, uh, usually they're uneducated and they face police brutality, gang members, um, even customers who buy from them will try to rip them off occasionally because they know that they can. And um, the the greatest need that they expressed to us was that they needed a daycare center because a lot of the ambulant vendors are single mothers um, with children who are too young to enter the public school system. So they, they carry them on their backs or they carry them in their carts one woman told us that she tied her children's hands to her cart, and that's how she took care of them during the day. Their primary concern was a daycare center for their children where they could receive um, basic health services, um, guaranteed meals during the day, which oftentimes they can't get with their mothers, and basic needs like that. So our plan was to help them develop a sustainable development plan for this cuadrilla or daycare, because if they're only making 4 to $7 a day, a lot of the time that capital is invested into their transportation or materials to sell for the next day. So we made a short documentary film about their experiences, uh, different interviews with them. We filmed them at their carts in La Cancha. They showed us where they keep their children, how the police treat them, um, how customers treat them, things like that. And um, we also included some interviews. So we've, we've been using that film to show to different classes to recruit other students. And um, we've also been showing it to different organizations in hopes of gaining more volunteers, donations, um, and things of that sort. We've also developed a website where people can read more in depth about the Ambulante's experiences. The interviews are listed in full. And um, people can read about read up about the cause and make donations to the Center for Latin American Studies. I think it's really important for students to have a sort of perspective on global citizenship and what it means to do um, the importance and the value of volunteer work and um, how that affects communities outside of the United States and sort of gives you a perspective on poverty in your own community um, that you might not have seen otherwise. And um, I think we, we all developed a very uh, different perspective on our own lives and, um, you know, the research skills that we learned were also applicable for, for young anthropologists, um, for people interested in international development and, you know, other sorts of maybe nonprofit work and things like that. Um, and so I think it was a really great, uh, great opportunity, especially for students who are looking to do something outside of the typical study abroad where maybe you'll go to Europe and, you know, see a few museums, um, you're actually getting a hands-on experience where it's more comparable to something maybe like Peace Corps or other volunteer um, opportunities. So that's really what I enjoyed about it. Mm -hmm.